Welcome to Tuts Plus. I'm Jose Mata. In this course, we'll learn all about MongoDB, specifically to the Ruby language. MongoDB is very different to Postgres and MySQL and all of those databases. All of them are relational database systems, unlike MongoDB, which resorts to documents. The principle of using documents over tables is very different and it serves different purposes in software development. There might be some specific use cases for using MongoDB. Relational database systems have their own purpose, and MongoDB might suit a different purpose. However, we're going to consider the very basics of MongoDB in this course. Let me give you the agenda so that you can know what we will learn. We're going to start by installing MongoDB in your system. I'm going to provide the instructions for installing it on POS6 systems such as Mac OS X or Linux, and also a small set of guidelines to install it on Windows. I must warn you though that MongoDB runs best on POS6 systems. After installing MongoDB, we're going to mess around with the Mongo shell. It is a small utility available in MongoDB that will allow us to interactively manipulate data inside our database. Mongo uses a very similar dialect to JavaScript, so if you're used to it, then it should be no problem really. After messing around with the Mongo shell, we're going to use the Mongoid gem. The Mongoid gem is not just a wrapper around MongoDB. It contains a set of features that will allow us to create a similar environment to Active Record. It allows us to create model abstractions to our documents. So at the end of it all, you will feel very comfortable because it really resembles a lot like Active Record. We're going to build a sample application to demonstrate it all. We're also going to include validations and associations of some sort. It's not exactly in the nature of MongoDB to have associations, but still the result can be achieved. At the end of it all, we'll review the contents of the course and what we have learned. I hope you're excited. Let's get started. So jump to the next lesson.